Hello, Guadalupe, friends and family. My name is Belinda Minchaka, and I am the Director of Education at the Guadalupe Cultural Arts Center. And we are here today to talk about our academy, the academy classes at the Guadalupe Cultural Arts Center. And I have with me today, Ms. Jeanette Chavez, who is our dance program director, and Gino Rivera, who is our traditional music director. It gives us great pleasure to be able to talk to you because we have transitioned all of our classes online. Um, all of our music, all of our dance classes are now online. But our classes are much more than just teaching music and dance. It's about our culture, about family. It's about using the arts to create community. And we miss, miss seeing all of our students and all of our families in the dance studio, in the music room at the Guadalupe, um, as well as in our theater. So we hope that you will join us in registering for our classes. We're gonna give you all kinds of information. We've been asking um, our viewers and our followers to send in questions. And so we're gonna answer those questions for you today um, as best as we can. And if you have any questions along the way, please write them in the comments. We'll try to get all your questions today. Um, if not, you can always send us uh, an email to any of us um, to Belinda M at guadalupeculturalarts.org to Gino R at guadalupeculturalarts.org or Jeanette C at guadalupeculturalarts.org. So you can always go to our website for more information. Um, so we are going to start with a, a few questions that people have been submitting. Um, so our summer classes are in session right now, but um, Ms. Jeanette, if you can tell us uh, when do our fall classes begin? So our summer session will end at the end of August, although people can still technically register for those classes. Um, but our fall session will begin at the beginning of September, September 1st. Wonderful. And Gino, can you tell us a little bit about our music classes and the music classes that we offer at the Guadalupe? Sure. Well, we have an array of mariachi classes. So um, our, our mariachi one and two, which are our performing groups, we have beginner two beginner violin classes, beginner guitar classes, and learn guitarron, vihuela, trumpet. We also have vocal classes and we also have piano classes. And apart from the mariachi portion, and the vocal and piano, we have Robert Garcia's with our conjunto classes, which he teaches accordion, which we have two accordion classes right now and one bajo sexo class. Wonderful. That is wonderful. Um, Jeanette, can you tell us a little bit about our dance classes that we're offering in the fall? Yeah, absolutely. So all of our regular classes will um, start us again. So that's all of our folklorico and flamenco classes. Uh, in folklorico, we have classes for children as young as four, all the way through adults. And in flamenco, we take them as young as six, again, all the way through adults. But we also have some brand new classes. So we have a baby and me class, a mommy, daddy and me class. We have a salsa class, ballet. And we also have intro to folklorico and intro to flamenco. Wonderful. Can you tell us a little bit more about the, the baby and me and the mommy and daddy and me classes? Yeah, absolutely. It's, it's a new, wonderful addition that we have to our um, schedule. And so for Baby and Me, it's really for new moms and dads to be able to bond with their, with their young ones. So babies all the way up to toddlers. And then for Mommy, Daddy and Me, it's for the children and the parents to take class together. That is really a wonderful way for It really, it really is a wonderful way for us to bond with our students. 
Now, um, how do students register? Um, well, you can go to our yeah. website. Mm -hmm. You can go to guadalupeculturalarts.org. Go to our website. And if you're interested in the dance classes or the music classes, just click on that thumbnail and it'll take you to all the classes we talked about. You click on there and you have options to register and to pay for the semester, or you can pay month to month as an auto pay. Um, and right now you're in luck because right now we're waiving the registration fee, which we normally do charge, but, uh, you know, considering the circumstances we're in right now, we're waiving the registration fee. So I, I, I strongly suggest take part of this, uh, sign up and uh, join our family, join our Guadalupe family. Wonderful. Now, you know, our students are, they're accustomed to going into a studio um, on a certain day at a certain hour. Um, that's the way we've grown up. You know, we've, it's very, very um, unusual um, to be doing it online. Once somebody registers, they want to know how then do they take the class? Um, so if you can uh, help us out with that, Jeanette. Absolutely. So we've been online since the pandemic hit here. So we've been online since March. And we started with pre-recorded classes that we would upload to YouTube and then share through an app called Class Dojo. The wonderful thing about our um, fall classes is we're going to incorporate a, a live Zoom session. So um, the classes will be a combination of live Zoom dance class in addition to supplemental pre-recorded videos. So um, yeah, you'll, you'll need access to Zoom, which you can everyone can access either on the computer or on any device, your phone um, or a tablet. And then also the Class Dojo app, which is where we upload the pre-recorded videos and also share any information with our students. Wonderful. Gino, now people want to know who can take these classes? Anyone who's interested in learning an instrument, singing or learning the piano, uh, can take these classes or if or if your child um, is interested musically inclined they show an, a strong in, uh, interest in music we we uh we strongly suggest that you email us or or you you bring them on you know bring them on our website sign them up and and i would recommend you email us first um usually usually students start between the ages of you know or as young as eight years old but we have had students in the past such as Mateo Lopez, who started at four years old, uh, taking vocal classes with me there at the Guadalupe. Um, and we've had many students five and six years old. So email us um, if you notice that, that, that your son or daughter is, is very interested in, uh, extremely interested in, in, in music, email your questions to me at Gino R at Guadalupe Culturarts.org or Belinda M at Guadalupe Culturarts.org and we can set them up and get them on their way. Wonderful. Jeanette, what about for our dance classes? How old do our students have to be uh, to start a dance class? So for our folklorico classes, we take students as young as four, um, but in reality, we actually have classes for everyone because we do have the baby and me class, so they can be newborn with mom or dad. Um, and then in flamenco, we take them as young as, as six. Wonderful. And Gina, tell me a little bit about the class structure. Are most of the classes um, live or pre-recorded? How does that work? Just like Jeanette mentioned, uh, they're pre-recorded and they're live. So we, we do implement the platform of Class Dojo, uh, which they're pre-recorded videos, PDFs, all your resources that you'll need, uh, um, and also our Zoom classes, our Zoom sessions that we incorporate with uh, each individual class. So that schedule will be online. I believe it's online for our, our, our fall semester. So um, you get the best of both worlds. And of course, once uh, things go back to normal, we'll keep that format going, which is a plus. Mm -hmm. So we're going to keep it going. And, and it's just, a, it's just an, a, an added incentive for our students signing up. And again, you think about it, it's, it's one hour a week. 
uh, of your time when, when we're in person. Now, plus what you have access to our online resources and for the same price that we're charging uh, when we're, before the pandemic, which is $45 a month, I think it's a, it's, it's a great deal. And, and it's, it's just a beautiful way to continue our cultural, our cultural uh, music and, and just to be a part of our community of the Guadalupe Cultural Arts Center. Absolutely. And I do want to um, recognize those who are joining us. They really, really appreciate some of our former students, some of our um, existing students. I really, really appreciate you joining us and, and being here to chat. Please remember to send in your questions um, in the comments. If you don't um, have any questions right now, you just want to send us an email, please do so. I, I really appreciate that. Um, and I'm glad that people are saying that they have children who would want to participate in the program. We would love to have you in our classes. Um, we have um, Moxie's mom. One of our students says she's taking violin and she thinks the classes are super cool. <laughs> so we love our students, our families. Um, it's a joy, joy to have them um, in, our, in our classes. Um, and right now, uh, the schedule that is on our website right now is actually for the summer classes. We will be updating that soon for the fall classes, but the list of classes that we offer um, is on the website right now. And then we'll be updating the, uh, the schedule for the fall. Jeanette, people are asking about um, prices. I know that um, Gino did mention the uh, $45 a month. And what about for the, the new dance classes? So for the new classes, um, they're only going to be meet, meeting once a week, and those are $25. So it is a real bargain. Uh, we have top-notch uh, dance faculty and, and music faculty as well. Um, so yeah, it's just $25 for a salsa class, for an introduction class, for the ballet and lyrical class. Um, so there's no reason that we can't join. But yeah, $45 for the rest of the classes. And as you already mentioned, as Gina mentioned already, the registration fee is waived. Yes, wonderful. And um, Gino, I know that um, a lot of students, you know, have never taken a music class before. They they've never held an instrument. Are they still able to take music class? Definitely. And when you say students, we mean people of all ages, right? So the beautiful thing with taking online courses is we're able to tailor. We're able to tailor our class to the student. So, um, perfect example, um, Marlo, who just uh, commented, uh, her daughter, Moxie, she was a beginner violin. He joined in, and some of the violinists have already, well, they were there, I, I believe, a semester. So, as soon as we went into online courses, we're able to adapt and, and to tailor things she needs and, and, and I can send her certain things, certain resources, PDFs, exercises, and maybe her assignment may be different to everyone else's. But that's what I think it's, it's great with the online courses. We're just able to reach more students and, and just give a, almost one-on-one -on -one quality time this way. So yes, by all means, if you have no experience, we'll make it work and, and uh, we'll help you out. So. I know. Jeanette, what about for dance classes? How, how old do um, our students have to be um, to, to start classes? We have something for everyone. So classes for all ages and all experience levels. So if you've never danced before, don't know where to get started, we got you covered. We have Intro to Folklorico, Intro to Flamenco, our salsa class is a social class where anyone can join in. So we, yeah, also in dance, we take all levels. Don't, don't hesitate. Don't think, I've never taken a class before or I'm too old to get started. No such thing. Jump in. We'll, we'll, we got you covered. Absolutely. So somebody's asking, what about classes for six-year-olds? Absolutely. We have uh, dance classes for six-year-olds in folklorico and in flamenco. So it's okay that you, uh, you tuned in late. We have all the information on our website. So we're just glad that you, you tuned in and we do have classes for 
all ages, go to our website, guadalupeculturalarts.org um, for more information and sign up for, for classes. Our summer session is still going on, but we do have fall classes coming up that will be a combination of online and as well as uh, live Zoom classes for all of our students. Um, now, a lot of our um, parents and followers and audience members, they're used to our productions that we do every year, our annual productions in the Guadalupe Theater, which we miss so much. Um, what will our students um, be able to do this, this fall? Will they be able to participate in any productions coming up? Miss Jeanette. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so two of the biggest productions that we do um, in the year actually happen in the fall. And that's Dia de los Muertos and our Pastorela production. And we look forward to that every year. And it's normally on campus and live. But the beauty of everything that's going on and, and us being um, online is that we are going to be producing those performances in an online format. In May, we had the opportunity to do an online recital, and that was our first experience, and it was, it was a beautiful experience, different, obviously, than in person, and as much as we want to be in person, we have the perfect solution, and that's going to be an online production, so we are really excited and really looking forward to that. Well, and the, also the beauty of being able to do online classes and online productions is that our audience is expanded. So people from all over the country will be able to take classes. People from all over the country will be able to see our virtual productions, our virtual performances. So this pandemic and the situation that we're on actually opened up an opportunity for us to expand our audience and to be available and accessible throughout the country. Anybody who wants to tune in, anybody who wants to, to watch our classes, join or register our classes or watch our productions will be able to. So that really is kind of Definitely. an exciting um, uh, silver lining for us um, in this kind of dark times. And we, we know that this is actually the time for all of you to register for classes because um, it, it is a boost. It's our boost to our energy, um, good, positive uh, community that we've created um, that you can be a part of. You can be a part of the Guadalupe family also. So we invite you to, to be a part of this. Um, Gino, I know that our Mariachi Academy, who are amazing performers, um, they're always a part of our productions as well. Tell me a little bit about what they can look forward to um, in the fall for our productions. Well, with, like Jeanette said, uh, Dia de los Muertos has been going on at the Guadalupe Center for about, what, 25 years, uh, give or take. And uh, the mariachi has been a part of it. The, the students have performed. Uh, they usually do a 15 to 20 minute set. Uh, this year, our goal is still to perform and be a part of the production. Of course, either a pre-recorded or a live recording. Um, however, we want to implement the students, the mariachi program, a little more as far as being involved in, in the backtracking, downtracking, so to speak, of the performance. So we have a lot of ideas, um, the, the situation that we're all in, you know, it, it's, it's time for us to think outside the box and, and just expand on ideas. And it's a great time for us to create these opportunities for the students. So um, our plan, our, our plan is, is to still perform, but maybe play most of the music to accompany the dancers throughout their awesome Dia de los Muertos presentation. If you haven't seen it, you have to, it's a must see. It's a must see. So um, I don't know, are there any online videos of, of Dia de los Muertos that we have? Perhaps, maybe people can search that. But it, it, all I know is it's, it's an awesome production what the dance company does. So this year, my goal is to implement the students and being a part of the nonstop production and being the music part of that. Yeah. So we, we have big plans. And, and of course, uh, like I said, the situation we're in, we're going to do our best to accomplish those goals. So, so you don't want to miss it. Just sign up. I guarantee you there, there, we have a lot, a lot of opportunities to perform ahead of us. Wonderful. And, you know, uh, I would invite everybody to go to the Guadalupe Cultural Arts Center YouTube channel 
to see, uh, you know, just a demonstration of all of the Facebook lives that we have been conducting throughout, I guess, since, since April. Um, and uh, just to give you a taste of all of our classes, we have, I think all of our instructors have done a Facebook live video just to give everybody a taste of what it is like to be in class um, with our various uh, amazing instructors. So go to our YouTube channel, check out our videos, Go to the Guadalupe Cultural Arts Center website, guadalupeculturalarts.org. Send um, each of us uh, an email with your questions. Uh, if we didn't answer your questions today, we'd love to hear from you. Um, we're all at guadalupeculturalarts.org. My email is Belinda M, Gino's is Gino R, and Jeanette is Jeanette C. So um, I see a, a hello from Miss Crystal. Zuniga from Sabrina Latigo, um, from Marlo, of course, Genevieve, muchas gracias, Anaí, uh, Jessica Valdez, muchas gracias, Margo. Uh, we also have um, Annette from Houston. Wonderful. It is, it is so wonderful that all of you jumped on to, to hear a little bit more about the Guadalupe and our academy classes. We invite you to join us. Go to our website, sign up today. Uh, there are still classes for the summer session. And then we will be starting our fall classes September 1st. So, muchas gracias. Thank you, everybody. We really appreciate you joining in. And we will see you next time. Hasta pronto. Bye.